Are you serious? Are you serious? Scientists are saying there is 8.8 billion planets similar to Earth out there in the Goldilocks galaxies. Just right. Not too hot. Not too cold. Just right. What? Well, you know something that doesn't shock me. God is so awesome. God is Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. He's alive in that forevermore. And believe me, uh, he has created all things that you can see or even imagine. Let me give you to you what scientists are saying. Spinning in the vast spiraling Milky Way are billions of planets similar in size and temperature to Earth in what astronomers have dubbed the Goldilocks zone. Not too hot, not too cold, but just right size for life to evolve. It doesn't have to evolve. To be created, you mean. Um, the calculation, based off of a tiny sample of our galaxy, was published Monday, yesterday, November 4th, 2013, in the journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Science. Now, a, tier, a team of astronomers from the University of California, Berkeley, and the University of Hawaii in, in, in Hawaii, in Honolulu, used the Kepler Space Telescope, launched by NASA back in 2009, to seek out Earth-like planets orbiting other stars to peer into the mirror drop in the Milky Way. And in this case... That drop in the galactic bucket contained 42,000 sun-like stars. 42,000 sun-like stars like we have. The astronomers were looking for a dimming cause by an orbiting planet as it crosses between Earth and its parent star. By observing the frequencies of this dimming, Scientists were able to determine the body's orbital period, which tells them both its distance from the star and how much light was blocked, providing an estimate of the planet's size. We found there are 603 planets, 10 of which are Earth's size, and they orbit in a habitable zone where conditions permit surface liquid water, the astronomers wrote, we find that 22% of the sun-like stars harbor Earth-sized planets orbiting in their habitable zones. The nearest such planet may be within 12 light years away, or 70 trillion miles. Now with its estimated 200 billion stars in our galaxy, the scientists have explored that 40 billion of them are similar to our sun, with roughly one-fifth of those, let's say, out of 40 billion stars, if one-fifth of them, or 20% of them, have an Earth-sized planet in the habitable temperatures, zones, it means, just like in our Milky Way galaxy alone, that there's 8.8 .8 Billion throws of biological dice. God has created the heavens and the earth. Well, wait a minute. Let me just say this real quickly. Let me say this real fast. Can we get it? Is there any scripture on this? Well, go with me to Psalms. I mean, you know, the Bible tells you in Genesis chapter 1, for God created the heavens and the earth. That's, that's just a broad brush. That's just a real broad brush stroke into the heavens. But... Let's go to Psalms chapter 8 for a moment and read what the Lord said in the scriptures. In verse 3, he said, When I consider thy heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars which thou has ordained, what is man that thou art mindful of him and the son of man that thou visitest him. There is a prophecy that Jesus, the Messiah, would come to the earth, make himself a little lower than the angels, and give his life for our sins. 
when you consider 8.8 .8 billion Earth-like planets just in our Milky Way, and there's millions of Milky Ways. Are you serious? Why would God give His only begotten Son for our sins when we curse His name? But wait, there's more. Go with me to Psalms uh, chapter 136. Another awesome scriptures I want to read to you. I mean, these are awesome. Look at this. In Psalms 136, uh, verse, excuse me, I'm, I'm in the wrong spot. That's a good verse too. But go to Psalms 147 is where I wanted to go. Psalms 147, verse 4. That's another one though about the stars. In, one, in Psalms 147, Listen to these four or five verses. Praise ye the Lord, for it is good to sing praises unto our God. For it is pleasant, and praise that is calmly. The Lord doth build up Jerusalem. He gathered together the outcasts of Israel. There's a promise of bringing all the Jews back to Israel. He healeth the broken in heart, and bindeth up their wounds. He telleth the number of stars. He calleth them all by their names. What? If there's 8.8 .8 billion Earth-like planets, because there's 40 billion sun-like stars, not counting the rest of the stars and the constellations, here's a God that not only made them, but numbered them, counted them, and named them each. He gave them each a name. Great is our Lord. And of great power, his understanding is infinite. Are you serious? Are you going to seriously, seriously argue that there isn't a God? Are you going to pull the atheistic card on me and try to play that hand? You better know when to hold them. You better know when to fold them. Because I'm telling you, I've got, I've got two winning hands here in front of me. And they were nailed to a tree. Are you serious? His name is Jesus, the Savior and the Redeemer of all mankind. Woo, glory. I could preach right now. I'm going to tell you something right now. The reason that we have such confidence in our God is from the very beginning of his holy scriptures into the very end. The Bible says, even Paul said that, lo, I'm found in the volume of the book. In other words, from one cover of this holy Bible to the other, you can find the manifestation and the word of Jesus Christ throughout the entire uh, volume of this book. Oh, I know there's prophecies. In, in Genesis 3.15, where he first was spoken that he will bruise his heel, but it will bruise the serpent's head, referring to Christ going to the cross and crushing the head of the devil. I know what Isaiah prophesied there in Isaiah 53. And David talks about the Lord would not even suffer his holy one to see corruption, meaning he would not leave him in the grave. It's all through the Bible. But think about it. If you say, okay, okay. Just push the Bible aside for a minute. Just focus with me for a minute. Are you going to honestly tell me who created all of this? Who created all of this? Who did it? Who, who masterminded it? Who put every star in orbit? Every plant around it? Who designed the temperature and the moisture? Who, who, who spread it forth the space of our human existence and then would give his own son to die to redeem us and to give us opportunity to be a part of his majestic kingdom. Are you serious? Give your life to Jesus Christ. Don't play the atheistic card. Don't challenge it. Embrace it and love the fact that God, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Do you want to be saved? Give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, please. Call upon the name of the Lord, and you shall be saved. We had 47 people accept Jesus Christ as their Savior Sunday night in our Sunday night live. We're having a massive online revival, and you can be a part of that. You can be saved, or if you are saved, you can become a part of that. Help us gather the lost to Jesus. Help us pierce through the darkness. Help us lead the lost to Christ. Mm-hmm.
Give your life to Jesus Christ. God bless you in Jesus' name.